Okay, listen up. If I was evil and petty, in which I'm not, but hypothetically, if I was, this would be my revenge list. See, I am a girly girl, so I would never go out of my way to key his car or slash his tires because I don't want to ruin my nails. So this is a list of what I would do if, big if, if I wanted to make someone's life as inconvenient as possible. Number one, bring a marker everywhere you go. And when you go to a bar or a club, write down, down for a good time, and write their phone number on the bathroom wall. They will constantly get random texts from horny strangers. Number two, if you know their email address, go to as many websites as possible and sign up for every newsletter with their email address. Their email will be filled with spam messages and bonus points if it's their work or school email address. Also sign up to as many online betting sites with their phone number. They will constantly get messages like this. Also give out their phone number to as many sales agents as you can. Hi cutie, would you like to sign up for a free trial at the gym? <laughs> sure, my number is 08123. Hi, do you know that you can die tomorrow? Are you protected by insurance? Oh no, I don't. But my husband has a lot of money. You should contact him instead. If he doesn't answer his phone, just keep calling. Persistence is key, okay? He's going to buy the most premium plan from you. Just watch their phone blow up with sale calls. And lastly, the classic. If this is for an ex and some of his stuff are still at your place, give your ex's clothes back with glitter in the pockets. Best case scenario, they don't realize that it's in there. They just throw everything in the laundry. And now their whole wardrobe has glitter. Slay! But the best revenge tactic of your life? Are you ready? The best revenge ever in your life is no response and genuinely moving on. Don't let the situation or the person to have any more power over you. That will drive people crazy because they will see how unbothered and unbreakable you are. Instead of investing more of your energy on how to make their life miserable, focus on putting that energy back into you. Back into your healing and your happiness. Trust that karma has got your back and it will never ever ever miss a address but then again do what you gotta do babe i have laid out the options whichever you choose there's no judgment here a sprinkle of toxicity always makes for a great plot <laughs> okay i love you always bye